got it, got it. Oh, Sinatra, don't got it. How about this for a campaign slogan? You snooze, you lose. So don't sleep through this election. Vote for Brendan Small for president of the student council. It's, it's good. Thanks. But, you know, a campaign slogan should be something short and catchy, like, uh... Nixon's the mm -hmm. one, or uh, I like Ike, um, or, you know, something like all right, that. All right, you know? I get it, I get it. How about this? Yeah. Vote for Brendan Small for student government president because no job is too big for the boy they call Small. Brendan Small, that is, so vote for him for president. That's of better. Of the student council. Yeah, that's good. You know, uh, hey, how's the poster coming, Jason? I drew a train, and then I drew my mom in the corner. How is that going to get Brendan elected? Oh, I don't know. Well, it looks good. Thanks. Um, Brenda. Yeah? How about this for a slogan? Think big, vote small. Nah, mm -hmm. I don't know. So the playground issue almost became my Waterloo. Oh, man, I hear you. But with some good old-fashioned 11th hour politicking, I was able to secure my legacy. You know, one time I tried to secure my legacy, but it got away. <laughs> got away. Yeah. Do you know that I have run unopposed in the last three elections? You ever do one of those three legacy races? Mm -hmm. Yeah. God. Tomorrow, I'm going to beat the pants off you, small. Well, then I guess I won't bother wearing any. And try not to cry when you lose. Well, thanks for your advice. And uh, let me just say this. Yeah. Now, don't misunderstand me. Adjectives are good, but one, two... Uh... Eight adjectives in a row are more than enough to describe some little red boat. It's a big green boat. Whatever, you get my point. Excuse me, Miss Small, do you think we could have a break now? I'm hungry. Actually, I was hoping to get through most of these papers first. Can you wait until I'm Susan? I'm Julie. I'm Susan. Can I take a break? Listen, I really want to plow through these papers. A break Come would on, be nice. break would be please. Nice. I mean, please, we're supposed to get please. a break anyway. Come on, I mean, I just break. take a little Call it! What is it with you people? What, what is this, some sort of a joke? Every time it's always something. It's always whining, whining, whining. All you want to do is go outside and smoke your cigarettes. I know that's what some of you do, and you should quit because they're bad for you. <laughs> Fine. Take your little break. But remember this. I'll be damned if I'm going to waste my time on a bunch of smokers. Surprise! Surprise! Guess what? You are going to have nice touch all them on. Really? Me? <laughs> Nicest? Wow, that's, uh... That's really... wow. Hey, somebody got a sign for this. Okay, keep the camera low and aim it up so I look tall. Because tall is good in politics. And, you know, Thurman Thackeray is tall and Lincoln was tall, so... Well, his hat was tall. When Lincoln took it off, he was a midget. Yeah. So, Brendan, what's your platform going to be? I think Brendan should use this box. No, platform is in political platform. Yeah, right, this box. Wait a minute, he's right. This box is my platform. Forget it, let's get started. Action! Hey, I say action. No, I'm directing to you. Get on the box. And action. 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 Go. My fellow American students. St <clears throat> Take two. Take two. Action. My fellow American students. It's time for our school to move into the next millennium. Even though we did sort of already. I'm talking about learning from videos instead of books. Books can hurt your eyes. Friends, has this ever happened to you? I can't read anymore. The words burn my eyes. Please read the top line, sir. I can't. I can't read anymore. Just as I thought. You are reading too much. You'll have to wear glasses, and people will make fun of you for the rest of your life. They'll call you four eyes an idiot. And forget the glasses. I won't read anymore. Then they'll just call you idiot. Okay, how about laser surgery? Well, that's fine if you don't mind growing an extra arm. I don't mind. It will help. Out of your eye! Oh, my God! Next time, you should just watch a video about history instead of reading about it. Then you'll learn the exact same thing, but without your eyes going bad. That's not a bad idea. What do you think? There you have it, folks. So remember, think big, vote small. Brendan Small. And don't vote for Thurman Zachary. All right, so, how many of you showed up yesterday and waited around for me in the pouring rain? Gesundheit. All right, so pretty much everybody. Good. Well, the reason I didn't make it was I was out very late the night before, all right? Doing what? Explanation over. What were you doing, Coach McGurk? Well, it looks like I got a heckler. What? My first uh, lady, let me remove my brain so we can uh, start as equals. Hey. <laughs> hey, uh, nice outfit. Some uh, motel somewhere is missing a shower curtain, huh? Coach. <laughs> who does your hair, Picasso? Huh? Coach. Who does it? Honestly, who does your hair, lady? My dad. 
Who's your dad, Picasso? Hey, Coach, uh, Melissa wasn't heckling you. Oh, look at this, folks. We got stereo hecklers. Hey, pal, I don't bother you when you're working, all right? I don't have a job. I don't go down to the bus terminal and pee on the seats while you're trying to clean them. What? Because you work there. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're doing comedy? Not just comedy, Brendan. Stand-up comedy. But you're not funny. What? What? What are you talking about, Brendan? I mean, uh... People around here a lot of times say, McGurk, you're, you're kind of funny. Yeah? You know, and people, some of the teachers think I'm funny. Who? Well, you know, when I go into the teacher's lounge and I'll say something, people will laugh and they'll be like, well, you should do comedy. Oh. All right? I have weird observations about things. Right. That are meaningful. Uh-huh. And uh, I need to get them out there. Yeah, um... You know, I heard it was also a good way to get things off your chest. You know, I got a lot of anger, Brendan. Yeah. And I need to channel that anger. Yeah. Usually I just have a few drinks in my apartment. Yeah. Start yelling, and then pass out. Yeah. Well, this is a way to bring that energy from my apartment to the public, to the people. Uh, well, what about soccer and your actual job? If I make it as a stand-up, I won't need soccer. Mm. Even though I'm touting myself as the soccer comic. Mm. This is what I do, Brendan. I go up in my coach's outfit, my whistle, yeah. and the soccer ball in my hand. I set up a goal. Uh -huh. That's pretty funny, isn't it? I would have to see it. No, well, Brendan, the whole point is, is that it's out of the element. You know, you're used to seeing me here, because I'm, I'm, I am a soccer coach. I know. But you take that same soccer coach and put him in a different environment, that's funny. People laugh. Do they? They did. When? At the beginning. Then what? Well, then I told jokes, and they didn't laugh. Ouch. But the, you got to start somewhere. You started with the outfit. Right. Da, 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 Brendan Hale, future president. Shannon, uh... Hi, uh, um, what are you, what are you... Relax, I just wanted to come by and wish you luck in tomorrow's election. I think you're gonna beat Thurman Thackeray as I would. Wow, um, well, you know, uh, I appreciate what you're saying, but I really don't think I have one heck of a chance at all, so, uh... Brendan? Yes? You need more confidence. Well, I... You uh... mark my words, you will win.